Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we're going to talk about the political cuisine being offered out in Arizona. Uh, because voters have definitely been handed something to chew on. And what this statement means for the GOP and the message it's sending to the rest of the United States. A senatorial candidate out there, Senator Martha McSally, said, and I quote, We're doing our part to catch up, you know, to get our message out, but it takes resources. So anybody can give. I'm not ashamed to ask, to invest. If you can give a dollar, five dollars, if you can fast a meal and give what that would be, Wow. You know, politicians have a long, illustrious history of taking food off of the working person's table, but typically they wait till after the election to do it. This statement, this message, shows that the Republican Party is having real issues fundraising for Senate races. This could be indicative of a populace that wants new, wants some kind of leadership. Um, and when you really think about what's being said here, if you don't have a dollar to spare, if you don't have five dollars to spare, skip a meal. This isn't a plea to, uh, to those who have means. This is a plea to those without means to go, to go without so a politician can get into power. I'd point out that even Marie Antoinette offered cake. This is probably not a good sign for the GOP, not at all. Um, and while I don't endorse candidates, I would like to point out that her opponent is a, a, a literal astronaut, fairly certain that that person could uh, figure out some way to run their campaign without asking people to fast in, in his honor. Um, but, you know, it's a decision for the people of Arizona to make. You don't need outside influence there. If you want to skip a meal so billionaires can get tax cuts, that's on you. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good night.